the stage are first poet of the slam, Steve Oldham. Give it up. What's happened to the game that I love? That was me. I started at three, then lost touch with the ball. Life movements interfering with my game. Secretly, I hadn't realised that a part of my core was beginning to die. I couldn't take it no more. So at 50, I took up the offer to play five a side. <laughs> but is it still the same game I played when I was a juvenile? And what's your match of the day? What's happened to it? Gary Lineker has gone as grey as Jimmy Hill's chin. And Alan Shearer still loves his Geordies. Sure was a winner once, now he wonders. What's happened to football? <laughs> I remember playing five-a-side in the school playground with me mates. Precision had to be precise like a Swiss watch. Conjoined within the movements of your friends' minds. Together you make a team. Adding a thrill of excitement, symmetry and synchronicity as you move together. Dancing in rhythm, moving the ball like ping-pong. Everybody recognises skill. The messy brilliance we looked to when Pele chested the ball down and shot from the halfway line. I remember Duncan McKenzie, Stanley Bowles and Francis Lee and Mike Summerby in Escape to Victory. We loved it then. Even Nick Hornby wrote a story. But like the bath, a hole has appeared within our game, like a Richie Rash through the groin strain. <laughs> Bobby Charlton got 300 quid for winning the World Cup in 1966. It would take me a lifetime to wear what Wayne Rooney gets in a week. The game hasn't really changed, but the society has. Footballers now treated as gods, alongside celebrities who try to fleece them. Is it the fault of media? Encouraging controversy? Undermining the referee? Demanding goal line technology? It seems I am trying too hard to make myself see just what has happened to the game that I love. I think I will go outside on my own and have a kick about. Pretend I am Stevie G. Dance with the ball like Maradona. Cross it like Jorginho. Chest it down like Pele and volley home like Eusebio. <laughs> it has always been my dream for England to win the World Cup again. It all got exciting recently. And remember when Gascoigne got out of the dentist's chair? I hope you stay clear. The girls have joined in. Quite a sight to watch on TV. Almost winning the World Cup. What irony. <laughs> Football is the same game it has always been. A game to join in. To lose yourself in. To find some new friends. To have some fun. To try some new skills. United in spirit, you try to win. But some you lose. It's not about the winning. It's not about the fucking money. It's about taking part, kicking a ball, a moment in time that you feel in your heart. What's happened to football? <laughs>